The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope will create the widest and deepest image of the universe, and we're going to learn more about it starting now. Hi everyone, my name is Christian Reddy, and if this is your first time here, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon so that you don't miss out on any new videos. The most advanced telescopes ever built will be coming online in the next few years, and in this video, I'd like to talk about the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope. LSST, as it's known, is not the largest of these telescopes, but it is, in some ways, the coolest. LSST is going to be large, but it won't be the largest. As a matter of fact, at 8.4 meters, it's actually a little bit smaller than some of the largest telescopes in use today. But LSST is a very different kind of telescope, unlike anything that we've ever built before. The reason for this is because telescopes study everything from planets to distant galaxies by looking at a relatively small patch of the sky for up to several hours at a time but the rest of the sky isn't sitting still. So for example, there are asteroids that are moving from one place to another, and some of these may even pose a hazard to our health here on Earth. Comets, Kuiper Belt objects, and maybe even unseen planets are moving undetected in their orbits around the Sun. Stars move in their orbits around the center of our home galaxy, slowly changing their positions in the sky, and as many as one million supernovae explode in distant galaxies every single day. And meanwhile, the universe itself is expanding, taking those galaxies away from us. And there's also weird things like dark matter holding the galaxies together and dark energy pushing them away at an ever-accelerating rate. So the sky is constantly changing, but in order to keep track of it, we need a telescope that is unlike any telescope we've ever built before. LSST will survey the entire night sky every few days and repeat this process over 10 years. This will build up the widest and deepest survey of the sky ever made. To do that, LSST will bounce light through a unique, three-meter design consisting of an 8.4-meter primary, a 3.4-meter convex secondary, and a 5-meter tertiary. The result is a gigantic 9.62 square degree image of the sky. That's more than 40 times the area of the full moon. But a giant image needs a giant camera. LSST's camera is the largest camera ever built. It's about the size of a small SUV, and it's covered with a 1.55 meter lens. That's 50% larger than the largest refracting telescope in the world. And it takes a 3.2 gigapixel image. That's 3.2 billion pixels. The whole assembly makes for a very compact telescope that can quickly be pointed to the next position. LSST will make about 800 images every single night. That means over one night it'll generate 15 terabytes of data. And over its 10-year mission, it'll generate 5 million exposures. That equals over 50 petabytes of data. That's 50,000 terabytes of data, so you may want to think about buying some hard drives software will automatically scan images looking for anything that moves or goes boom in the night. LSST will be located in Chile on the Cerro Pachon Ridge in the foothills of the Andes Mountains. This will be located near the Gemini South and SOAR telescopes. The telescope is under construction at several locations. Its mirrors are being fabricated and tested at the University of Arizona's Mirror Lab. The telescope itself is being built in Spain and weighs in at 375 tons. The telescope assembly and its optics will be integrated at its observatory location in Chile. The observatory itself is currently under construction at Cerro Pachon, and LSST is due to see first light sometime in 2021. After 10 years, it will have created a movie of the entire southern sky. It will discover new objects, including perhaps planets right here in our own solar system. It will record supernovae and watch the universe expand. It's an ambitious project, and we'll be able to actually see for the first time the universe evolving in real time. So what are you most interested in learning about from the LSST? 
Leave a comment below and I'll be sure to check it out. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And while you're at it, hit the like button and share it with a friend because you'll be making somebody's day and helping me to grow this channel. Until next time, keep watching the skies and we'll see you soon.